Okay, here we go with stage one of uh, my uh, stock tank hot tub. Uh, started off with a Rubbermaid 300 gallon livestock tank. Kind of hard to see here. And what I've done is I've just uh, mounted it, so to speak, with some of this wonderful Great Stuff uh, foam to some uh, thick foam panels I actually had from an earlier sort of portable uh, hot tub that I'm reusing. But you could obviously use any closed cell foam for that just so I have a nice base. And I am working my way around gradually insulating the outer surface with the Great Stuff. Um, nice mess sticky nasty stuff so you need to be careful with it but actually it's going on better than I thought I have it up on end because uh, having used this stuff before especially if it's warmer it does move a little bit on you and so uh, what I've done here is I've gone uh, section by section one of these big cans looks like it's covering I don't know about uh, three or four square feet maybe kind of hard to tell looks like I'm gonna take probably need about ten cans to uh, go all the way around. We'll try that out, see what the insulating is like. Of course, you wouldn't have to insulate it necessarily, but one of the goals of this project for me is saving some energy. I'm gonna be solar heating the water, at least uh, uh, in part, and um, you know, trying to preserve as much as I can. So uh, the plastic will insulate some, but certainly not that great. Hard to tell how thick this ends up expanding. Looks like in most spots it's about maybe an inch some places less. It's hard to tell because you can see that the uh, surface of the tank is irregular. So I'm working my way around here. My plan is to have basically an inlet and an outlet. And of course this isn't a tub where there's going to be uh, agitating jets and all that business. Uh, that's certainly nice sometimes, but I had an earlier um, uh, inflatable portable spa that had that found that I really didn't use it that much and that really complicates your plumbing and everything else decided that for me a nice hot soaker tub is plenty good so uh, I'm gonna have an inlet and an outlet this is where uh, the uh, water is gonna come out I'm gonna have a solar hot water heater with a solar panel powered pump it's gonna pump the water cool water obviously is gonna pool near the bottom pull the relatively cooler water from the bottom of the tank and it's going to output somewhere up here in the top so um, it came with uh, I think that's an inch and a half inch and a quarter so whatever you're going to use for your plumbing I'm just going to keep it simple with some three-quarter inch uh, uh, industrial strength uh, garden hose so I've got the proper fitting in there and I'll uh, foam around that and uh, we'll see some progress a little bit later. What I've got here is just a homemade enclosure. Like I said, I've gone through a couple of versions of these portable tubs before. I wanted to use them year-round, and so I built this. Nothing real fancy about it, just two by four framing, and then some uh, uh, dense foam panels that uh, I've installed. Works pretty well. The lid is fairly heavy even though I tried to make it as light as possible, so flipping that baby up and down isn't the easiest thing in the world, but uh, uh, I get it done. So uh, we'll update this as the project goes forward, but uh, there's stage one. 